All right, Ashi, you ready for this? You know the commander's not gonna like this. Us doing this for him, he can't clear up all this. I know, but if anything, he's way too prideful to admit that he's made mistakes. But at least he gave us this. Do in his place to explain, uh, well, just about everything that's happened. Right. So without further ado, let's get this over with. So, hello everyone. I'm Geo Strider. Behind this VTuber, I'm known as Matt. Over here to my right is none other than... Ashi? I'm gonna be real. I'm a little nervous, as a lot of big decisions are being made. And one of them is this video. We've got several subjects to talk about. Number one is the Mega Man controversy that the commander got involved with. Number two is obviously none other than the incident involving the uh, imposter, Mr. Devin Foxy. As this imposter is still destroying and attacking the commander's image. And it seems it's not going to stop is why we went through a brand rechange. After blocking him on Twitter slash X, the commander did. So he can't uh, react or even see any more of it. Or uh, uh, see the next gen operations. Obviously content. The next issue is obviously the um, imposter of Moist Critical. We want to address this right now. The individual claiming to be Moist Critical on a certain YouTube channel that has over about, at this time, around 10 subscribers it is causing a lot of damage, if not harm, to the original Moist Critical. And, well... Unfortunately, all attempts to try to get the real Moist Critical involved with this have failed. It's due to this we have full belief that Mr. Moist Critical is not willing to do what is right. Or anything at all, as it must bring him some uh, sense of fame or even pleasure. So, we have decided to do, obviously, he are no longer be in contact with Mr. Moist Critical, uh, along with trying to get his aid in this endeavor, as it's completely useless. Even that, let's run to the next topic as we previously mentioned it. The Devon Foxy incident. It seems, according to all of our research, the fake Devon Foxy on Twitter slash X is a ramification of the Mega Man incident, as this is one of Shadow Ronks, if not possibly yeah, that of Revo Repoid's followers trying to destroy the commander's image, as Revo himself is taking a very unique interest in the commander and trying to destroy and slander his image after he was quickly turned, well, gears, if not shipped direction into the proper uh, side of the argument. It seems because of this, Mr. Revo has made a fake account and has even snuck his way into Devin Foxy's overall community, trying to influence his fans to attack the commander and everyone here at Seed SG Ops. Or uh, next gen. How many times has he renamed this channel? Let's see here. Uh, he went from, according to my research, um, Devin Lionheart, um, the long name of Commander Devin Lionheart, Seed SG Ops once, and then the acronym of Commander Devin Lionheart, Seed SG Ops a second time, and with a different variation of Commander Devin Lionheart, of the, you know, acronym of Commander, and now we're at Seed, uh, next gen. <laughs> It seems like he has a hard time trying to make up his mind, but now we're kind of stuck with this one. You know what I mean, Ashi? You know what? I kind of do. In the long run, it's not a bad idea. Seed Next Gen makes a lot more sense than Seed SG Ops. Or just going with just the commanders like Alias, because I'm going to be real. The channel has fallen under extreme duress and, if not, uh, agonizing pain due to these attackers. 
It's quite disgusting of what they've been doing and what they are planning to achieve. If you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm oh, definitely. These individuals that have led this heartless, soulless crusade against, you know, our friend, and, and even that I had a business associate. As you see, Devin Moore is a, um, well, teacher, if not a boss, and showing us the ways of B2B and overall, you know, allowing us to voice these models, such as I voice Geo Strider, that recently fell under controversy because of uh, another individual that we will not speak of. And even my character, that was once uh, looked really, really odd, if not totally disgusting in the face. <laughs> I mean, what was he thinking back then? I'd probably tried to come off with, like, kind of like, chibi cute, but missing the mark. I'm so glad he changed up the model, and we're still trying to recover my jacket. But I love he's come out with something different to make this one stand out. I hope it works out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait for my actual battle outfit to come out. This one, um, it's just my normal civilian outfit. <laughs> kind of like your normal civilian outfit. It's really cute. Banner does a lot of good hard work. Uh, but nonetheless, of his hard work and his current achievements, I guess where we should get at is, uh, uh, on behalf of the commander, we're not uh, going to apologize for him. Well, we just humbly ask from the Mayman community and even that of Mr. Foxy's community, could y'all please, 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 just overall, just let us get our work done. Because all these constant attacks are uh, really messed up. If anything, has caused a lot of stress, anger, and anxiety. And the way the commander has lashed out at y'all is not befitting of a commander but at the same time, not befitting of a man either. And all of you that is constantly attacking him is only making the situation worse, if not completely and utterly disgusting. Wouldn't you agree, Ashi? Yes, most, most indubitably, if not completely horrendous, as all these individuals have really shown their dark and even crude sides of disrespect and even that uh, of overall just heartful, not like heartfelt, but completely heartless natures. The commander has been through enough. And all of us here, we want to succeed. So, on behalf of the Mega Man community, I will continue the game or Mega Man games to help restore the image of the, the overall small group of ours. I myself will uh, definitely be looking at possibly continuing to play uh, hard games on the channel and the Twitch streams. We know these individuals are constantly spying on the Twitch streams from YouTube. This has been done before, and Twitch has literally sued YouTube over this. And if it happens again, well, I think we know who's all to blame. It's Mr. Foxy and his community that have uh, done this. And if YouTube gets sued again over something like this, it won't be any good and YouTube won't be able to make it another time, especially in the courtroom. Well, if anything, I, me and Ashley just wanted to have y'all understand that the commander is not an evil man. He's not a bad man. He's not a messed up man. He's not a perverted man. And he's certainly no criminal of a man. He's just a man. He's just a man. A really, really <laughs> big man. The man I met the Kevin Sorbo's experience, and oh, I was shocked. But when I finally met him, he's like six foot four, and he's a big guy. I mean, holy crud. I'm only like, what, six foot seven? If not six foot six, you on the other hand, Geo, like, how tall are you in the fourth dimension? Well, amongst my family, uh, I will admit, now I'm probably one of the most uh, mid level in my adult years, uh, in the adults in the family, because, like, holy cried. <laughs> uh, I myself, I'm only like uh, six foot eight. So uh, I'm a little bit taller than you. 
but way shorter than the commander, you know? <laughs> uh, anyways, enough with the personal information. I think we should call this a day. Uh, thank y'all all for joining me and Ashi. Uh, speaking on behalf of the commander, I want to make it clear that the commander is just that, a man behind a VTuber, much like me, and much like, obviously, Ashi is a woman behind a VTuber as well. I'm going to be real. All this is just really, really bad and horrible. But it's about time we uh, try to clear this up to the best of our abilities so we can continue on with our work. Uh, the commander's got enough on his plate in the fourth dimension, a.k.a. the real world, much like we all do. Uh, thank you for joining us on this uh, seed next-gen talk. Until we meet again. Uh, Hopefully it'll be really soon.